Hey there Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to restore lost or damaged files in Windows 10, 8, 7, or Vista. And as an added bonus, real quickly, we're going to show you how to disable the service if you manage your own backup. So, buckle your seatbelt, Sally. We'll get you out of here in about five minutes. Let's do this. First thing you're going to need, check the video description or the I up here, the letter I. Follow through will jump you to this page where you can click here or click here to download Shadow Explorer. Click portable. Let's get portable. Major Geeks mirrors are portable. I hate executables when the portable is available. Download it. Extract all the files as I've done here. Double click it. Open the folder. And double click on Shadow Explorer Portable.exe. Over here in the left corner, you can select a drive. You can actually expand your current drive. What we're looking to do here is look for your snapshots right here. As you can see, I've got them dated from a couple weeks ago to as recently as today. And I can see the time. So I know I want to go back, and that's what you need to know. Where do you want to go back to? So you pick a date, and I'm going to use Sequeener for fun, but take note, under Users, you can find your photos, documents, videos, etc. So let me get this started again. So just for fun, as I've done here, I'm going to use CCleaner as an example. No other reason. Now while this looks like File Explorer, it's actually a little different. I'll tell you why. You can't use Control A. You can't highlight all. You kind of can. Here's how to get around it. So let's go to the CCleaner folder. And I'm going to restore the executable. I'm going to do that by right clicking and clicking on Export. But before I do that, let's say I want to replace both of them. You can hold the shift key down and move your arrows to highlight multiple files. So let's restore my 64-bit CCleaner executable by right clicking and hit export. It's now going to ask you where the folder is. I happen to know because it's portable. CCleaner. Now I'm in the right folder. I'm going to click OK. And it asks you if it already exists. Now take note, this is your only warning. It's not going to warn you again. Kind of like File Explorer, this is it. It's not going to say again, are you sure you want to overwrite it? Once you click yes, you're done. There's no prompt, there's no yay, no fireworks, just done. And there you have it. That's how easy Shadow Explorer is to use and manage. Love it. All right, as I promised, let's talk about how easy it is to disable it. Now, you probably don't want to disable it unless, let's say, you make your own hard drive images. You prefer to use Reset This PC, or like me, you have double backups. I have a second hard drive, and I have an external drive. And every so often, I copy from my drive to my backup drive, and then I copy from my backup drive to my, well, backup drive. All right. All you got to do is press the Windows key plus R. Services.msc. That's services period msc press ok we're going to scroll all the way down we're going to find volume look for the word volume find volume shadow copy you can see it's running and it's manual so you'll double click that if it's running click stop then click here and go to disabled and select disabled and click ok that's it. No more shadow copy or volume shadow copy service. There you have it. That's how you can restore lost or damaged files. Pretty easy. Malware damage, lost a file, deleted a file. There's a whole bunch of reasons. Corrupted file. Great way to get at your backups. and Everything's there. So it's nice. In the lower right corner is, of course, our subscribe button. And click a like if we helped you out. And we do appreciate you watching as always. See ya.